Hello fellow shooters, Stu Baker here, Airsoft Actions, I'm inside here in Taiwan. Except today I'm not in Taiwan, I'm in Osaka, Japan, at Lelax International Headquarters. I'm here with Ryan Sensei. Ryan Sensei, what are we going to talk about today? So today, yes, we're talking about everyone's favorite sneaky gun, the SOCOM Mark 23 made by Tokyo Maruri. So, yeah, we make a bunch of great parts for this gun. Um, is there anything that strikes you about this full custom? Hmm. Well, it fits my hand very well, but it also seems quite easy to double tap it for some reason. Why is that? Uh, yes, yeah, so one of our more recent in the past year uh, parts kits for this gun is actually the lightweight trigger pull kit that we have made for the Tokyo Marine Mark 23. Would that be this one? Yes, it would be this guy right here. And it comes with a valve and all the trigger unit pieces that you need, including the lightweight hammer, so that you can get the maximum lightweight trigger while not uh, compromising the gas system. So as you can see here, we got a nice adjustable valve. Um, this valve is required for this whole thing to function, so you cannot just buy the trigger set and then throw it in, you need it uh, along with the valve. There's one included with the pack, but you'll have to buy additional valves if you want to use more magazines. With that said, you can uh, adjust it to have more FPS and power, uh, but less consistency, or you can tune it the other way by doing a simple half turn of the wrench and making it uh, a little more close so you have much more efficiency, consistency, and uh, accuracy as well. I noticed there's also a custom job on this in terms of the paint panels, RMR at the top. So, yes, we also have a custom slide made for this polymer, uh, but since it's not blowback, it's all good. And it has a optic mount on top built in. And we uh, put some cuts here on the sides for easy racking if you were to rack it. Yes. And then on the sides here, at an angle, you have these uh, built-in iron sights if your optic were to go down. Yes, so you have it in that nice, cool angle. Yes. Sounds like this reflux style. So this is purely RMR, or is it compatible with any other footprint? So this one specifically for the Mori Micro Red Duck so uh, sight and the uh, SIG optics, mm -hmm. as well as a few other uh, modified Delta footprints. So quite a few optics fit with it, but it's originally for the Mori optics. Um, however, we have gotten SIG optics as well as the um, the bog optics as well have fit on here as well. What else is this down here that you've got? Uh, yes, so this is also our metal outer barrel. All it is is a simple replacement of the original plastic in the barrel, and our outer barrel, excuse me. And what it does is it brings it from the proprietary threading to a more common 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread. So you could put any, any suppressor or tracer that you want on there instead of just the one that comes with it. Exactly. Okay. And that's what we have here with our uh, kind of cool dimpled style long boy mm -hmm. suppressor. Um, our Mode 2 suppressors are a little extra quiet within the industry as well as very lightweight, just so you can also feel that it's not kind of weighing down the sky. Indeed, it makes it very easy to move. And what exactly am I picking it out of today? Uh, yes, and our one more popular of our holsters, as we make a variety of holsters, is the um, Solcom Mark 23 Breakout Holster. Yes. And it kind of comes out in a break action or breakout fashion, like a Robocop type of uh, holster, so that you can fit your light, optics, and suppressor without compromising the retention of the uh, holster itself. And it's a quick, just one push of the button here, Right there, you just click it and pull it out and it's ready to go. And then when you don't need it, you just throw it away and click it in. And this is a safety one here. Please. Yes, correct. So a manual safety so that if you bump it or whatever, it won't pop out. So disengage maps, thumb drive, pull out. Exactly. So perfect uh, pair for any sniper players that are in the, out there. But I know some people, uh, they run this as a primary and it's just as viable that way too. And are there any other problems on this planet? What, can, what are the things are compatible? So yes, so we have started to make these red valves for all of our guns, uh, specifically for the international uh, community and those guns. So since you can get Umarex Glocks in Japan, well, you know what? Umarex Glocks are popular everywhere else. Let's make these adjustable valves for those as well. So you can get an easy increase in FPS or consistency or however you want, because it has three settings. Okay. So the uh, power setting, the balance setting and then also the efficiency setting. And you have a video already explaining that on site that we did the link to. Yes, exactly. Just check it out somewhere on here. Okay. So you put in a screwdriver, tighten it to the right level, and it should stay there in the right orientation. Exactly. 
easy. Easy stuff like that. So, uh, uh, you know, the first one was our SoCal Mark 23 valves, and we moved on to the Umarex uh, Glock series. And uh, we also have stuff for like High Kappa and uh, MWS, and uh, more to come. So, so right, what phones? Any SMGs in uh, yes, MP7 also, uh -huh. but uh, a lot of the valves are shared. So High Kappa and M MWS, as well as the uh, M1911 Government Series, are all one valve. Glock and the MP7 are one left, you know, valve as well. So uh, just keep an eye out for those. So and, uh, yeah. I'm a very big fan of gas guns, as any of my followers will know. So it's good to know that there's something out there that will give you the performance changes and uh, advantages that you get from coming out. So thanks very much for your time, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. Catch you guys later. Take it easy.